I have a confession to make. Ever since the end of Greece, I've been working with the non-working tripod. My tripod's been broken. Let me show you. This is my three-legged thing tripod. This is not my head. My head's on the tripod filming this. But this is my three-legged thing tripod. I love this tripod. There are a few things in this world I love more than this tripod. But I'm pretty bad at maintenance. And I'm sure you've seen it in the background of any of my videos, just the way that my room turns to a mess. I'm bad at maintenance. And so what happened in Greece is I was out shooting in the sea with Morton. And in that episode, a ton of salt got into the tripod. You can see it all in here. That very same night, we brought the tripods in and we put them into the shower. We just soaked them overnight, hoping that it would get rid of all the salt. The problem, so it seems, is the tap water in Greece has so much calcium in it that this, I don't believe, is salt. I think this is calcium from soaking the tripod overnight, and the calcium is just stuck right into the tripod. And in all these legs, they're still totally fine. But in the monopod leg, one joint comes out, the other one is totally locked in. It just does not budge. And I've done everything I can think of to try to fix it, aside from sending it back to my buddies at Three Legged Thing. But because we're now in South Africa, and because we're heading to Namibia or towards Namibia in like five minutes, I needed to buy a new tripod to get me through this trip. So I hate wasting money as much as the next person, but I do see this as my business. And in a good photography business, you need a working tripod. So I couldn't go to Namibia with a tripod that was only semi-working. I had to go to Cameraland. I had to buy a new tripod. They didn't have three-legged thing tripods like I would have liked. And the people at Three-Legged Thing obviously couldn't ship me one down here within the two days after I realized I couldn't repair Winston. So I had to spend money. I dropped about 350 pounds to get this. This is the Sirui? Sirui? I don't know how to pronounce it. Sirui, Sirui. I, I have no idea. Sirui <laughs> N3203X. And to be fair, I really, really like it. I put my three-legged thing head on it, as you can see. And yeah, it's sturdy. The joints pop really quick. It's light, although maybe not as light as Winston, or definitely not as light as Winston. But yeah, it's really nice. It seems really sturdy. I'm really actually quite happy with it, and I know that this tripod's gonna do the trick. So I just wanted to mention that before we leave for N Namibia, because I know you guys are gonna be like, hey, where's Winston? Why all of a sudden don't you have Winston? Well, I don't have Winston because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to clean a tripod properly. So um, yeah, I guess that's it for this little quick talk about tripods. We gotta jump into the car now, head to the airport. We're picking up a big van. We're gonna stuff all the camping gear in it and we're gonna drive north here towards Namibia. We got our new whip, <laughs> the big vehicle, and we're heading up to Lambert's Bay, up the coast. I think I'm gonna stop maybe in Langabon as well. So yeah, we better hit the road. Lots of kilometers to cover. I'm not having much luck today. We just got outside of Cape Town, uh, about 100 kilometers away at West Coast National Park, which is this beautiful park we wanted to explore. And we blew a hose in the car. So 100 kilometers down from like how many ever we need to get to Namibia, and we're already having car issues. So I called, uh, we called Avis, and hopefully they send a replacement vehicle. reality is we just wanted a gray van. Uh, we got the new van. It's gray or silver and we're off again. It looks like we have to skip the national park but yeah we got it sorted. 
thanks to Avis. Yeah, we didn't get a van that worked properly the first time, but Avis is always so good at like sorting things out. So um, I think we're gonna cruise on to Langebon, no, to Lambert's Bay, crash the night, and then I'm gonna get up and shoot some photography first thing in the morning. Take it all, rip it all up. It's done. I got in. I had a pretty good time last night. The new van is much better than the old van, so it's a good thing we switch now. It's a good thing that that breakdown happened here and not way up in Namibia with a group. So I'm actually happy that we broke down. If that uh, if that doesn't sound too crazy, I'm walking obviously towards the sea. I don't remember what it looks like. I was here five years ago. But it's an ocean, and anytime there's an ocean, I feel like there's a photo you can make. So, uh, yeah, let's walk towards the said ocean and hopefully make a photo. Wow, so I'm having a bit of a moment here, like flashback nostalgia. I walked down to this point and I went. I feel like I've been here before. And I knew I was in Lambert's Bay before. I knew I'd been to Lambert's Bay before, but I didn't remember, you know, what it looked like or where I went or anything. And then I walked out on this point and this was like a really, really emotional moment for me when I did my big Africa scooter trip. This was like the moment I got here and I was like, I made it. I did six and a half months on a scooter from Mali to Cape Town and I, when I got here to this spot, this was the spot I was like, I did it. This was like the most emotional, like victory moment, more so even than when I got to Cape Town. And I took a picture here. I have a picture of me on my scooter right here. Wow, this is crazy. And uh, maybe it's a lack of sleep, but I'm all sorts of emotional right now and kind of just gonna take this in and then hopefully go out there and take a picture. Okay, let me walk you quickly through what I'm doing. I got the new tripod set up and to be honest, I really like it. There's nothing like having a new tripod. It just, yeah, everything's really smooth, stable. I like it. I have zero complaints about this tripod so far. Um, what I'm trying to do here is I've come to this spot that's not perfect, but showing up to a place in the dark makes it a little bit hard, even if you were here five years before. And I found this spot that has kind of like stacks and the waves come in and then they kind of bounce up here and every now and then they get high enough to be on the top level. There's a second level and then down at the bottom. So every now and then the water comes all the way up to the top, like right now, and then it retreats back and you kind of have this waterfall effect. Uh, it's kind of going the wrong direction, the waterfall effect. It's going out away from the camera, but I think it still works. The real challenge though is the fact that it's really, really heavily backlit and there's not a cloud on the sky. There's a little bit of haze that's kind of holding in the color, but there's going to be exposure issues uh, here in a minute. So I'm going to knock out these shots hopefully get something cool here and then as the light gets too strong that way I'll move on and maybe try to find another composition. I've come just out and there's beautiful light that way, like a gradient of blues and purples. But I'm gonna do something stupid. Maybe not stupid, I'm gonna do something counter to that. There's this, I guess, I don't know what it is, a fishery? I'm not sure, I don't know stuff like this. But there's this old building with the chimney stack up top 
and these beautiful rocks in here. There's seaweed in the water that might look cool, and there's some big waves crushing through here every now and then. It's in the backlight a little bit. It's not great. The light's definitely not great. It might end up being a black and white photo, but I think this is the coolest composition out here. So I'm gonna flip the camera away from the amazing light straight into this awful backlight. So when I got here, I mentioned I had been here before. I got here on my scooter four or five years ago and that I have a photo right here. So like, check this out behind me and then check out this photo. Crazy, absolutely crazy. It's been a long video. I know it's been a long video. I didn't expect me to have car trouble, obviously, but it's been a good day despite. It's been fun to get back on the road and I cannot tell you how much I'm looking forward to pushing even farther north here and into Namibia. It's gonna be so, so good. So I'm gonna call this an episode. Tomorrow, Jody and I are jumping back in the van we're gonna probably check out this island here in Lambert's Bay that has all these birds on it, apparently. And then we're gonna push north. And I'll see you guys there. Peace.